Welcome to another video from Lockdown Electronics with me Bill and today we've got a little bit of a mini review on this little device here which is the BM500A uh, Mega Meter, sometimes called a Mega and very small very cheap device got it off eBay for about um, for about £13 um, and what it is it exactly what it says on the tin it's a meter that measures resistance in mega ohms but the thing that's really handy of course is that it does it at some pretty high voltages 250 500 and a thousand volts so obviously we have to treat it with caution there is a third socket here as well as the as the plus and the minus sockets and this third socket allows you to connect if you're checking the continuity of let's say the insulation of a, of a metal device you can connect that middle one to ground and it gives you an idea of um, of the leakage resistance and the insulation of the device and that's essentially what they're they're used for I got it because I want to be able to test these things electrolytic capacitors and uh, when you're working with valve equipment sometimes doing a test on a capacitor with a tester that works at a few volts doesn't really give you a truthful answer um, and these capacitors here for instance are an example of capacitors that actually test out okay at low voltage or reasonably okay they were probably from the 19 well they often removed from a bit of kit that's from the 1960s and when you test them at a much higher voltage you see straight away that actually uh, they're far from far from okay so let's um let's do some uh, reviewing Okay, so here we are with the BM500A and um, we've got the 250, 500 and 1000 volt ranges. So the first thing I'm going to check out is does it actually put out voltages that are somewhere near that. So I've got the, um, the outputs uh, of the meter connected to this multimeter set to DC volts. So I'm going to uh, switch on to the 250 volt range and... Um, well, not very much going on there. So we'll press the test button at 250. And, yep, yeah, there you go, about, about 261 volts. That's without any load, so presumably with a load it'll be a bit nearer 250. So that's uh, 250. It's um, actually showing me the uh, 10, roughly 10 mega ohm uh, input resistance of my meter. OK, let's go to the 500 volt range and see what we get there and that's coming up with about 486 volts there now um, and again still got the 9 mega ohm uh, input impedance which is good and finally the 1000 volt range see what we get for that keep my fingers well well clear and we've got about about 930 volts and again plenty of mega ohms on the input uh, so impedance so that's good so she's certainly kicking out um, the, something like the, the right kind of voltage um, and I think something to take away from that little demonstration is keep your fingers away from the leads when you've got the test button pressed. Okay, so I've got the um, leads hooked up to a, a 2.2 mega ohm resistor. So we'll go on to the 250 volt range. I'm going to keep my fingers well away and uh, we'll switch on and just see what we get. Yeah. That looks pretty much like 2.2 mega ohms to me, so that's good. We'll just um, we'll just try that at 500 volts. See if we get a similar kind of thing. And yep, there you go, 2.2 mega ohms again. I'm not going to bother going up to a thousand on that one. I'm expecting a similar result. Um, so, in terms of actual um, uh, measuring, yes, it appears to be accurate. I've, I've tried those resistors with them. Um, another couple of uh, a couple of meters and I get a similar result. Um, so what I want to show you here is um, these are a couple of old electrolytic capacitors removed from, from some 1960s equipment and uh, if you test them on my normal bench multimeter I get a resistance of about 23 mega ohms and obviously that's a, just at uh, 2 or 3 volts and the capacitance tests out at about 10 microfarads it's supposed to be 8 microfarads so you might say that at low voltage that's still perfectly okay and if you think about a capacitor um, to a DC circuit a capacitor is essentially an open circuit there is no connection so let's pop uh, this capacitor onto the leads of the tester and the capacitor is rated for 450 volts so um, 
I'm going to hold it like that, there she is. Um, I'm going to go to the 250 volt range, which is the, this came from a power supply. It was producing just over 200 volts for an anode in valve equipment. So I'd expect it to be working at that kind of voltage. So let's now press the test button. Remember in the meter was telling me 23 mega ohms. So now that's saying 0.009. Um, that's 0 0.009 uh, meg, so that's about about nine, eight or nine k, um, so eight or nine kilo ohms. In other words, at 250 volts, uh, that clearly leaks, and certainly isn't by any stretch of the imagination um, an open circuit. So, uh, nice little example there of an electrolyte capacitor, which um, I'm afraid its useful days are now over. Okay, um, let's turn the power off. And yeah, that's all good. And I carefully place that down. I've got another one here um, removed from the same piece of equipment. And there she is. Just going to press the test button again. Again, she read about, I think this one read about 20 mega ohms on the low voltage tester. And here again, we've got between um, 9 and 10 kilo ohms. So at 250 volts, yeah. That's breaking down. I can't do it at 500 because it's only rated to 450. So obviously I would be uh, going beyond its rated voltage. So straight away, if you're working on valve equipment, um, that's quite a handy bit of kit to have because it's um, it's giving you an idea of um, the kind of uh, condition that capacitors are in um, when they're in uh, high voltage situations. OK, and I've got a, just a couple more capacitors removed from some uh, some old valve equipment. And this one, uh, actually, uh, I suspect is actually a mica dielectric capacitor, although it is actually dipped in wax. And ordinarily, uh, the kind of these kind of waxy capacitors you definitely need to replace because they're probably not even capacitors anymore. Uh, but this one, which is a 680 picofarad removed from the front end of a of a receiver and actually it's a 19 late 1940s receiver if i pop that on there at 250 volts and press test um what you can actually see there is um that's that's absolutely perfect still even after all those years it might be encased in wax but clearly the dielectric is acting as a complete insulator it's that isn't one mega ohm that's just it doesn't think there's even um, any kind of circuit there, so that tests out well. Um, and the other ones that uh, you sometimes come across, I've heard these called uh, Uncle Doug. Uncle Doug's got an amazing YouTube channel about valve amplifiers. If you've not seen it, you need to watch it. But Uncle Doug calls these mustard caps, and they're um, they're polyester. Um, and I remember these uh, being quite common. I had a Philips electronic engineer back in the... Um, the early 70s and that had these capacitors in so this is a 400 volt 0.1 microfarad again removed from some 19 uh, well actually some 1940s uh, kit which had been modified a little bit so we'll pop that on and um, run test at 250 volts and as you can see there that's completely open circuit exactly what you'd expect nothing wrong with that capacitor and I've uh, certainly, if I come across those in, in radios again, as long as the value tests out OK, uh, I shan't bother replacing them. In fact, I've got a stock of um, of some, uh, well, they're old, but they've never been used. And uh, I've checked a few of them and they're the same. So that's um, good and uh, good reliable capacitor. There we go. OK, well, that's um, what I want to use the BM500A uh, for. Uh, she's a very very small unit really compared to my hand um, nice little rubber case has a, a PP3 style 9 volt battery um, seems to work very well came with some instructions that were well, you could understand and they weren't terribly easy to read but I think for the money I'm very pleased with that and it's certainly given me the ability to to test uh, things um, that I've removed from valve equipment to see if they really are up to the job or not. So, OK, well, hope you've enjoyed the little mini review. Um, I don't think you'd go too far wrong for the price that they are. I got this one from eBay. I'll put a link down below to um, where I got it from on eBay. And 
you maybe consider that if uh, if you're into working with with valve equipment just another caveat of course this does produce nearly a thousand volts at that test range so you know treat it with respect um, and if you do use one of these obviously you're doing it at your own risk um, I hope that's made some sense if you've liked it please click the thumbs up if not you can click the thumbs down either way be great if you could subscribe to my channel and hopefully um, we'll see you on another video thanks very much for watching